So today we'll be making the most tender skoma, uh, which we are going to cook on the fragrant smoke of the cherry tree. This recipe has a minimum of ingredients. Salt, sugar, lemon zest and minimum heat treatment. We will try to preserve the maximum possible amount of nutrients with the maximum taste. Skoma has fat, tender meat that has a rich taste. The smoke of cherry tree will only emphasize it, but an excess of spices can ruin everything. Uh, we don't need this. Lemon zest is a great seasoning. I like it. Grind some more. Wow, how it smells. It's rich in flavor. You take medium-sized fish. I advise you to cut it while it's slightly frozen. It's easier. We leave the fins, cut off the head and remove the inside. Clean the abdominal cavity thoroughly from the black fin. It's important. If not removed, it will give in a pleasant bitterness. We clean everything carefully. Well, 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 like this. Sprinkle generously with the prepared mixture, outside and inside. Chill for three hours. Wash off the rest of the mixture. Remove the moisture and with the one hour. Uh, for smoking you need some cherry wood pieces. If you don't have one, ask your neighbors. We need uniform smoke with a low temperature. No more than 90 degrees. To do this, lay out the chakral briquet so that they fit comfortably against each other. Add burning coals and loud the cherry chips. Put the fish in the smokehouse so that it's not directly above the heat. Fragrant smoke with fruit notes is very noticeable. Wow, it's amazing! You can determine that the fish is ready by its golden color and incredible aroma. It's very important not to overexpose the fish, as it can make the meat to become dry and harsh. We need a tender, juicy, aromatic fillet. Looks like we succeeded. As a final gesture, sprinkle it with lime juice. And now the princess is ready. Definitely got to check this out. Приятного аппетита! See you soon!